In this video, I'm going to perform refund, trade in and exchange item with AutoCount post. The first topic will be refund, the initial step is to select or scan the item returned by customer. The item appears and click the quantity to modify the item quantity. You can input the amount manually or click the plus or minus button to change the amount to negative value. Click OK to continue. Select type of stock in transaction prompt will show up, click on return. Type in the receipt number or search for the receipt. Click on OK to continue. The total will change to negative value. Click on cash, select refund method prompt will show up. Refund amount indicate total refund amount, cash indicate refund in cash, voucher indicate refund in voucher and points indicate refund in points. Select your refund type, interface will refresh and the refund process is completed. You are able to find the refund transaction by clicking Find Bill button. The upcoming topic is a trade-in, to perform trade-in, you need to do a setting at the back end. After open up AutoCount post back end, click on Point of Sales, then Maintenance and select Terminal Setting Maintenance. Terminal Settings Maintenance window will show up, double-click or click on Edit to open Terminal Setting. Terminal setting window will show up, click on Document Control 2, and tick the checkbox of Allow to Trade In. After done the setting, can start the trade in process. At post front end, scan the item or search the item manually. Click on Quantity, Quantity Modifier window will show up to allow you to modify the item quantity. Type in the amount manually or click the plus or minus button to set the amount to negative value. Click on OK to continue. Select type of stock in transaction window will show up, click on trade in. Trading cost window will show up, enter the trading cost amount and click OK to proceed. The remaining total will show up. Select the payment method. Once the interface is refreshed means the trade in process is completed. You are able to find the trade in transaction by clicking find bill button. Lastly, exchange item. As usual, you can scan the new item or search the new item manually. Scan or search the item bought by customer. Select the item bought by customer and click on Quantity to edit the item quantity. Click on OK to continue. Select type of stock in transaction will show up, click on Return. Enter the receipt number or search the receipt manually. Click on OK to continue. The reaming total will be shown. Click on payment method to proceed payout. In this video, the payment method will be cash. The interface will refresh and the exchange item process is completed. You are able to find the exchange item transaction by clicking find bill button.